What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets are Rob. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Before I get started talking about Francisco Lindor contract extension, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, all my videos, you want to see more, you want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, everybody. All right, guys, so Francisco Lindor contract extension. We're going to get a little bit into his stats, his projected stats in 2021, and then a projected, a proposal contract that I think is fair for the Mets and for Francisco Lindor that can possibly be a contract that can make both sides very happy. So when it comes to Francisco Lindor, we know how good of a player he is. We know he's one of the top five shortstops defensively in the game. Offensively as a switch hitter, he is very good. Home runs. Average can be around the 260 to 280 range. But Francisco Lindor is a top five shortstop in the game. According to MLB Network, he's the top in the top 15, ranked number 14th in MLB uh, Network's top 100. Francisco Lindor can be a big face of this franchise. Could be a part of the core for the next seven to 10 years. And that's what we're looking at. This is why it's extremely important that the one person that needs to get extended during the next couple of weeks before the season starts is Francisco Lindor. The reason why is because Francisco Lindor said he does not want to negotiate a contract when the season starts. He does not want a distraction. So that gives the Mets approximately around six to seven weeks to give him an offer, have him sign it, and extend Lindor for many, many years. So that's one of the biggest things. The number second biggest thing why the Mets need to extend Lindor is because they gave up every major league shortstop on their roster in Andres Jimenez and Ahmed Rosario. Those two guys are off the team. Obviously, they're at Cleveland now. So you lose your two major league shortstops and if you don't extend Lindor and he possibly possibly leaves, then we have no shortstop. You can talk about Luis Guillaume, blah, blah, blah. Guillaume is not better than Amar Rosario, not better than Andres Jimenez, and damn sure not better than Francisco Lindor. So when we look into Francisco Lindor's stats for the last couple of years, this is why you give a guy – a big contract, not just offensively and defensively, but the type of guy he is, the offensive power, the, the offensive guy that he showed in the last couple of years, even though he had a down year in 2020 that we'll look at, he is an extremely good player and a player that you want to extend and feel comfortable giving a long time, big time contract to. And it will be the biggest contract in Mets history. I can guarantee you that. And we'll look at the contract proposal a little later. So when we look at his stats, we're going to go into 2018 to 2020. In 2018, he played 158 games. He had 745 play appearance, played appearances, which was a career high. He had 129 runs, 38 home runs, 92 RBIs, 107 strikeouts, and batted 277. Just so you guys know, his career, he never batted lower than 270, 258, but 2020 we'll talk about in a few seconds. In 2019, played 143 games, struck out 98 times, batted 284. He hit 32 home runs with 74 RBIs. Solid year, not a great year, but he was, he, it wasn't 2018, but he still had a very solid year, and he was an all-star from 2016 to 2019. In 2020, 60 games. He played in every game. 266 played appearances. He batted 258, which was the lowest of his career. He had eight home runs and 27 RBIs. Now, with 2020, there's so many things you can say why players did not play well. And I understand that. But I'm not really looking too much at the 2020, but you know what? Teams who are signing players will look at 2020. 
how much will the Mets look at Lindor in 2020? I don't know. But I can tell you this. He's an all-star type player. Even at the, the age of 27, 28, he will be an all-star for this Mets team. And there's a reason why you you give the biggest contract in your history, in, the, in Mets history, to sign Francisco Lindor. His stats show you why. 89 RBIs, 92 RBIs, 74 RBIs. Yes, he struggled a little bit in 2019. He was still an all-star, but his RBIs weren't high up there, but he did lead off a little bit for Cleveland also. So not a lot of runs to be uh, drove in because of that. But in this Mets lineup, he will be batting probably third in this Mets lineup, which with Nimmo and McNeil in front of him, there's going to be a lot of, lot of the, he's gonna, they're going to be on base a lot which gives him an opportunity to get a lot of runs scored, a lot of RBIs, and that's the big thing. So with his stats, 2020 was a down year, but I feel like he is still the all-star type player. He's in the prime of his career. People worried about his stats last year and his metrics and everything like that when you hear about his down year. I'm not worried about it. He's going to be – he's made for New York. I can tell you that. He's just that type of guy. Offensively and defensively, he's going to be one of the best players on this Mets team. So when we look at the projected stats for Francisco Lindor, what are they? So at the age of 27, he would bat 269, 102 strikeouts, 28 RBIs, 28 home runs, and 73 RBIs. Now, I think the RBIs, they're going off of, of the last two years because they went probably by the numbers that he would have at Cleveland based on where he would bat in the lineup, which would probably be, be lead off first or second. With the Mets, he's going to be batting third, which gives him a lot more opportunity to drive in RBIs, which will increase his RBIs. And 73 RBIs is very low. If I, I was a betting man, I would bet the over on RBIs for sure with Francisco Lindor. I would say at least 85 RBIs. The home runs are pretty good. I take that 28 home runs, no problem. You know, it's a big ballpark at City Field. So, you know, it really depends. But I think that's a fair number when it comes to home runs for Francisco Lindor. When it comes to Francisco Lindor and what type of contract would be fair and would make the Mets happy and Francisco Lindor happy looks something like this. Now, just so you guys know, this is the proposal that I thought of that I think could be fair for both sides, and that is a 10-year deal worth $325 million. Obviously, he will be 28 years old when he's a free agent, but if the Mets sign him during spring training, he'll be obviously 27 years old. So this is the contract that I would give him that I think is fair for both sides, 10 years, $325 million, what comes out to me to me about the annual annual value of 30, 32.5 million per year, which I think is extremely fair. And you have to look also at Fernando Tatis's junior contract from 14 years, $340 million. Now he's not going to get that many years and that much money uh, for the total contract because he is six years older than Fernando Tatis. So you're not going to go, above and beyond crazy numbers like Fernando Tatis did. Fernando Tatis is going to be 36 years old when that contract ends. If you gave Francisco Lindor a 14-year deal, he'll be over 40 years old. We don't want that, especially no matter what position he plays. And a 10-year deal I think is good. He'll be 38 years old when the contract ends. Probably might might not be playing shortstop at the age of 38, but At the end of the day, this is a fair contract for Francisco Lindor and the New York Mets. 10 years, $325 million, what comes out to an average annual value of $32.5 million per year at the age of 28 for Francisco Lindor. That is my take on Francisco Lindor and the proposed contract that I think is fair for the Mets and Francisco Lindor. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. And if you want to see more content, you like my videos, you want to see more videos, you want to get notifications when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, hit on that subscribe button and hit that notification button. I want to thank you guys for your support. And as always, let's go Mets.